Hi, this is Ron Windsor with Keller Williams Select Realtors. Thank you for visiting my video blog. Today we're going to go over how much is my house worth. Uh, before we begin, I would like to point your attention to two links on my blog. First, if you are looking to sell a home, click here. And if you're looking to buy a home, click here. Now back to our topic. So the topic of the day is how much is my house worth? While the median housing price in Maryland is approximately 310,000, that's great news. Last year was right around 299. The exact price of your home will depend on the size, the neighborhood, and lots of other factors. Further complicating matters is your own skewed perspective. We tend to mentally think that our home is the most expensive home and also the most positive and airbrush out the flaws that are all apparent. So when we're looking at the factors that you're going to be able to sell the property for, we want to focus on the square footage, the location, and the condition of the home. If the home is in sound structural and mechanical condition, you're already going to be in a great place for able to get a higher sales price, whether it was not. So when we're looking at that is the roof, the mechanical of the air conditioning, the furnace, hot water heater, those are all going to play major roles in the value of your property. Now also, cosmetically, if we're looking at a property that has an upgraded kitchen versus a property that does not, of course the buyer is always going to be willing to pay more money for a turnkey property. And also the, the appraiser is going to be able to appraise the property for a higher dollar amount as well. I also want to make sure that we can price the property a couple different ways. So when you do have a realtor come out and visit you, you have the option of listing the property at a high price. It could take longer to have the property sell. Maybe you're on the market for 120 days versus listing the property at market value, maybe a little bit below, and then start receiving multiple offers. Now, whichever option you choose to use, the most important thing is when you get into the relationship with your real estate agent, you want to make sure that they have clearly communicated a pricing strategy that is going to get your property to sell in a reasonable time frame. So thanks for watching my video blog. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, call or email me today for a free real estate consultation. Thanks again and have a great day.